Most people understand that the heat is different depending on where you go. Have a look at what we get off this pavement. 158.8. Meanwhile, over here on some grass, 122.9. Still hot, but a lot cooler. Well, that sort of difference can be translated into maps, and planners use them to understand our environment and maybe make it a little bit cooler. Satellite heat maps like these expand that sort of observation to a big picture perspective of what we may feel as we move through a world that in Arizona often just ranges from hot to really hot. These maps from Pima Association of Governments express heat from hot yellow, orange, and red to relatively cool blue. This detail shows the contrast between the hot parking lot at Elkhorn Mall to the cooler, grassy areas of Randolph Park and University of Arizona. Lad Keith is a professor at University of Arizona's Architecture School. He leads programs to help communities build their resilience to heat. He says heat maps can guide planning to mitigate heat with more green space and less pavement and can identify hot spots that are the result of neglected communities. Those are often lower income areas that have less vegetation and historically minority areas, often marginalized areas too. And so when we think about uh, doing investments to green cities, we want to make sure that those prioritize the areas of greatest need. And heat can go from discomfort to deadly. A dashboard from the Pima County Medical Examiner lists 138 heat deaths so far this year. 37 were undocumented border crossers, 35 were homeless, but the other 66 were not in those categories. And 39 percent of the deaths were indoors, speaking to the idea that some neighborhoods are not always able to protect people from dangerous heat. Bill Neely says he's used to the desert heat. He's skeptical we can do much to stop it, but he does like the idea of using heat maps to try to build in ways that adapt to the heat. That seems like a good idea to me. Like I said, I think more people should look to working in the evening instead of during the day. Because if you really look at it, you can get a lot more accomplished, but people are used to working during the day. And uh, you get a lot more done at night. Near Colbin Speedway, Craig Smith, KGUN 9.